All right, so we're back with Der Bauer, with Roman, and Roman is, is prolific in the industry. He has a YouTube channel. He also makes thermal paste. I'm not going to ask how, but he makes thermal paste. <laughs> and then we, we have, I don't know what this is. So we, I asked Roman before this video, should you brief me on it first, or should we go into it blind? And we're going into it blind. It looks like open loop cooling, and I think that's a Dominus Extreme for the 28 core CPU. 10 out of 10. Nice. Great. That, yeah. was, that was only three or four things. But that, that's I mean, the end of the video. At least one of us can count. <laughs> Before that, this video is brought to you by the Be Quiet Dark Rock Slim, keeping a high performance focus but reducing the footprints to accommodate full memory slot compatibility. The Dark Rock Slim comes with one of Be Quiet's Silent Winds 3 120mm fans built for low noise operation. The Dark Rock Slim advertises cooling capability up to 180 watt TDP, but mixes in a matte blackout color design to combine performance and looks. Learn more at the link in the description below. All right, so what, what do we, where do we start with this? Fittings are pretty easy, so let's save those to later. <laughs> what's, okay. what's this thing? So um, I'm calling it Link. So this is, is, let me stop you. Is this going to be an actual product or is this like? Yeah. It's, okay. It's, it's, it says one out of 10. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> so we're making. That's not a lot, but that yeah. is an actual product. And earlier, actually, I told you this prototype is 7,500 euro, which is correct. Yeah. So that's probably the, one of the most expensive prototypes we ever made. It's also fully made in Germany. Um, it's, it's a more like a concept idea than just the monoblock itself, because what we're doing in the end is having f real full monoblocks, not those like mm. I'm only cooling the VRMs and CPU monoblocks, but like everything included, because we are also including like the network chip that's underneath here. In oh, the okay. final state, even this block will be connected to the water cooling with heat pipes. There will be additional heat pipes so going what, through here. What is it that makes the prototype cost 7,500? Euros. Uh, manufacturing in Germany and uh, manufacturing within three days. So, uh, okay. So, so yeah, yeah, we finished it uh, Rush yeah, order. last week and then. Cool. So what is this aluminum? Yeah. No. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Top okay. part is aluminum. Sorry, I broke it. So, <laughs> <laughs> manufactured in three days, huh? <laughs> <laughs> aluminum top part. The yeah. block is is this just acrylic up here? Yeah. Okay. It's acrylic. Um, in the end. This is also aluminum right now, the block underneath. But okay. for the final um, part, obviously, it will be nickel plated copper. This is really heavy, by the way. Like, just for a motherboard, right? Yeah. The Dominus is already pretty heavy, but I think you've yeah. taken the back plate off, though, which makes it much better. Yeah. So, what makes this kind of special is the fact that I'm losing the screws, but. Uh, you, you lost your screws <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Those have not been there for a while. So what makes it special? I see the, um, the, it looks like the tubes around the bottom for that, or what would so be tubes. The f what also makes it very expensive in the end as a product is that we're not only bundling the main board with the monoblock, but also mm -hmm. VGAs. Okay. So everything is one piece. It's a monoblock that includes the VGA. So you have the intake and outtake mm -hmm. on top of the main board right here, and that's the only connection. It cools everything. Okay. So. so uh, inlet and outlet here, as yeah. it flows here, what does it hit, like a, like a T-junction or something to split? Does it split between these two directions, or does it just go this direction? So it, if you enter here, it goes ah. through this channel, Okay. goes through Calls the CPU. this right half, which is also not final. We have a new model right now where we have an additional plate on top, which will allow cooling from the center, then outside through the side, okay. back up. So it's very complex cooling in the end. Goes down in this channel. And then you see those two connections right here, where basically um, you're able to attach VGAs. Okay. So everything is one piece, even the VGAs are included. And that's the problem. Is there a connecting piece between these two, or is it just socket there? That, that, that's basically the connector right here. So okay. we have a connector with O rings, and it's a little bit um, modular, so you're flexible in like five millimeters in this direction and in this direction. Right. So makes it a little bit easier because you know there are some tolerances mounting the, the blocks and then if you're off by one or two millimeters then you can kind of fix that with this um, okay, yeah, cool. special connector. And then in the end you can have two 2080 Ti's or whatever you want to have on there without any um, cool. hard tubes anymore. So, so you, I guess you hit like half the VR, VRM this way, go through the CPU, hit the GPUs as you go. Yeah, go back up, mm. down in the, in the left side, enter through here, and then back to the VRM and out. Yeah. And also the network chip later. 
yeah, this will be connected over a heat pipe to the bottom of the VRM cooler because yeah, the heat of the network chip is not that much. Chips that's just done by. Yeah. Uh, so th this is just connected uh, to here, but this this would actually be fine. The chipset doesn't even need a cooling. Okay. Like active so cooling. So it's not like X570 then. <laughs> no. It's more like C390, where yeah. you can just remove the PCH heatsink, and it's not really required, but right. yeah. looks much better. But also, if it's in a closed case and you don't have any cooling on it, then yeah, you might have a problem. What is the plan? One of 10, is it actually just going to be 10? It's like super limited product, or what? Yeah, I mean, it's okay. also going to be super, uh, super yeah. high price. Yeah, I can so already tell that. Low volume. Yeah. Is there a name for the series, the product series? Yeah, it's Link, which means uh, link. Okay. liquid interconnect you cooling. You spelled it wrong. No. Link is spelled with a K. <laughs> it's German, right? Isn't cooling with a K? Don't you replace but all the Cs with Ks in German? <laughs> <laughs> so the Link. All right. yeah, yeah. Only the Dominus Extreme, or what? <clears throat> That was just to test the concept okay. of having this. We actually pa uh, pa uh, have a patent on this, mm -hmm. on the fact that we can include everything uh, in the monoblock in addition to the GPUs. So adding the GPUs to this, we protected this. Okay. <laughs> just to make sure, you know. I, just, I was just reflecting on the very brief moment of shock when I said you spelled it wrong. Like, oh no, what have we done? No, We've no, made no. 10 of these, all with the wrong <laughs> name. How no. will we ever remake 10? <laughs> It'll take so long. Yeah. <laughs> How long does it actually take? I mean, like, once you, if you're manuf it's not mass production, obviously, with 10. So, like, what is the, what is the manufacturing process? Uh, the manufacturing process, uh, process is very short, so, like, three, three weeks, roughly. Okay. Uh, which also allows us to do kind of customization. So, mm -hmm. I don't know, for example, if somebody wants to use a very uh, unique GPU or wants to add some components, we can do that. So, okay. that's actually possible. So, if you're interested in this very, very special feature, can contact Case King and we're doing that. Cool. Um, in the end, we're planning to do like mass production of this for, um, let's say, an Extreme Omega okay. board like that, which allows us uh, to have the space for the distribution. So actually, actually mass production on that, like yes. actually some volume. Yeah, and it will also be uh, manufactured in house at Case King then. Okay. So which makes it a lot more f uh, flexible for us. Right. Right. Yeah. So uh, Z390 for that, I guess you're saying, for the, um, you said Omega? Uh, yeah, for Extreme Omega, so it's yeah. X299. Oh, is it X299? Yeah, okay. the, the thing is we need kind of space here in order to be able to distribute the water to mm -hmm. the VGA. We have a second concept where we had a water channel going like on the side as well here for smaller boards. For Domino's it didn't really make sense because we yeah. would have to add like a connector from the side to the VGA, but for smaller boards like normal ATX, we have a second concept where we have like a, another water channel coming from here, and then it distributes the water from the side. One additional thing we also didn't have ready in time, unfortunately, is the special backplate we have. It's a backplate that includes a power connector um, to here, so basically, it's hiding all the cables. So okay. it's a backplate including a power connector, and, and then the, cable, like the uh, cable is routed here. So you right. have no hard tubes anymore, no cables anymore on the system. It will look extremely clean. Okay. Yeah, I was about to ask about the tubing. Yeah. Anything, let's see, let's, what's under here? Is this just a name holder? That's just, that's just the cover. Oh, there's a screw. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, are you selling these with the Dominus as well, or are they just buy it as a kit? Like I mean, the, whatever people whatever. want to have. Just, just email case can, I guess. Yeah. This is a spe I mean, this special order item. Yeah, it's, it makes sense that um, they tell us the special needs. Right, I mean, right. we can sell it individually, just the block, um, if they already have a Domino's, for example. Mm. But yeah. Did you do anything special on the GPU block design? That's like anything abnormal or just same? Uh... For, for now, um, that, that was very simple. That was just to test functionality. Mm. We will have um, also like centered water distribution okay. as most of the people well, you know said is an option for this as well right yeah Some that's already that's already yeah. done so the final stage will have center distribution okay. which, made, which made it a lot more complex because we had to make sure that the water exits are not restricting the flow mm. and go back to the gpu it was very complex to do that but yeah Actually, this is uh, almost one year development. How, how much of this, uh, what was your role on this? I mean, was this like 90% your work or were you working with engineers Nine, and designers? 99% okay. my work. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you I mean, do, I have, I have a lot of the testing too? Yeah. I mean, I have a, um, a guy at Case King who is doing some CAD work for me, mm. but that's all of that. So okay. I'm just giving him like uh, drawings and I'm telling him to do the final CAD work, but uh, yeah. Right, right. Everything else is completely from my hands. Yeah. 
Is the is there anything else that we've uh, we've skipped over on this? You want to point out, or do you think we got it all? I think price. Price. Did we talk about what the price might be for? The price might be something like two k. Okay. But you have to keep in mind that just um, for the cooling solution, obviously. The cooling solution, yeah. but it includes. So you have VRM cooling, you have CPU cooling, you have chipset cooling, mm -hmm. network cooling, you have the There's two, two blocks for two, uh, for two GPUs with the yeah, backplates. Yeah. So if you order all that individually yeah. <laughs> from, let's say, I don't know, EK or whatever, you're already at, I don't know, 1,000 or even more. And yeah, if you go like high end, sure. Yeah. yeah uh, That's why we did it on this board, because this platform is so expensive. So 2,000 euros, I guess, is, yeah. is like, but not final, right? Don't, could, don't could, hold Roman to that, I guess. Maybe, maybe plus 10%, I right. don't know. Maybe, yeah. 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 Not, not sure yet, but something in this direction for sure. Yeah, because yeah. It's, it's only 10 pieces and, uh, you know, manufacturing in Germany is uh, not cheap. Yeah. But we have to make sure that quality is perfectly in line and, uh, yeah. It's easier to check on the factory too, if it's local. So you can actually like uh, stay involved in the process and customize yeah. it, like you said. Yeah, the factory is 15 minutes away from Case King, yeah. so it's uh, very simple for us to just go there and uh, do some testing. What about this stuff? This is more. This looks like more volume. That's me. that's really that's mainstream volume. Uh -huh. So we're actually doing water cooling fittings. This is also. Is there any? Th there are a lot of fittings on the market. Yeah, but the, the big so. difference is if you're into this business, you know day. you know how it is. It's like yeah. you go to the ID cooling factory and then you want to yeah. have a cooler or yeah, you know how yeah, this works. Yeah. But those are 100% my work as well. Okay. So everything um, from design to manufacturing. Manufacturing is also not done in any factory that has anything to do with the PC components. <laughs> right. Um, just for also the sake of protecting my work and so people can just go there and say, hey, I want to have the same. Yeah, um, I, I want, I'll get one of what he's getting. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, we should talk about that for a second. So for people who, everyone in our audience should mostly know this. For people who aren't aware though, uh, the average cooler is made by like maybe two to three companies, like a CLC, like closed loop. Yeah. So the manufacturers you're familiar with, like Corsair and NZXT, they do have significant input, but uh, they're not literally making it. So yes. there, there is a big difference there. And I guess you're saying this is, you went and found uh, a manufacturing partner yourself. So yeah, it's I mean, it's, like it's, a picking, it's, a normal, a it's a normal CNC factory. Right. They're just uh, getting the drawings from us and right, they're right. doing the stuff and then sending over the indi individual parts and we are doing the assembly mm. in Germany right now. So that's the, the plan. We were not sh I'm not sure if we will keep the assembly in Germany because it's costly, quite, ex yeah. quite uh, costly, but um, yeah. Also design-wise, we decided to go for um, something that's very, yeah, you can really customize it. Mm. So all the fittings have those rings. They come in like is six or seven different colors. Yeah. So is the plan to sell the rings uh, individually? And, or are you yes. Just, or are you just, okay. So you can get a set of like 10 rings and uh, they're also not, not expensive. So the fittings are actually also quite cheap. Mm -hmm. That was the goal to have something that looks really nice and it's not expensive. Do you know the pricing on these yet? Uh, like the target price for a hard tube fitting was like five dollar. Okay. So not bad. Yeah. So that uh, should be bad. very good. Cool. And uh, you can see on all of those are soft tube fittings, hard tube fittings. Um, all of them can be equipped with those rings, even the angled ones. So those rotary fittings, uh, like ninety degrees or forty five degrees, all of them can be equipped with those rings. Mm. Um, we will have like the normal nickel plated ones, also black ones. The black ones were not yet ready, unfortunately, because we had some problems with the tolerances and powder coating. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, if it's not a factory yeah. that's familiar with that, you have to take all of that into account and do it yourself. So it, that's a lot more work. That's why this actually took two years to make. I was just about to ask, what, yeah. Yeah, what's the timeline? Yeah, that's because two years. Because I, I think it's easy as an outsider to look at a fitting and go like, well, I mean, it's it's really not that big and it looks fairly simple. Yeah, it's but yeah, the, the, yeah. Pro the problem is once you, you have your design and your idea of what you want to do and then you have to go through all the different uh, tolerances and stuff, especially when pieces have to go together somehow like those rings yeah. and you want to make sure that they're not loose, that w would give you a very like, cheap feeling. So tolerances have to be really tight and then you have different different types of coatings, different nickel platings, yeah, yeah. then powder coating and you have to make sure that all of those different fittings have like different raw measurements before coating and all of that, so it yeah, takes a lot of time. Um, yeah. 
also doing the development basically from scratch to have like rotary fittings. Sounds very simple to have them, but if you start making them, it's actually not that simple to have them really 100% secure that they're not leaking. And I was going to uh, say that the risk of the, the downside yeah. is pretty significant, right? Like you've, you're in a, we, we make, you know, a few products too, not anything yeah. like this, but uh, when you start getting into that, you realize like, oh, I'm, I'm actually putting my reputation on this. So exactly, yeah. It's got to be really yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, I guess last question then is release target on this. Do you have a timeline? Um, I mean, all of this is, of it, is pretty much ready. Okay. Um, like all of this is pretty much final. This obviously not, but we have the final CAD stuff and doing like the final prototype mm -hmm. next week. So, I so if someone in our audience is, is like incredibly rich and wants one of these, <laughs> should they send an email now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right now because we're doing the CAD stuff right now mm -hmm. and if there's any special input requirement, ideas, questions, we can right. do that. Like if, it can be simple as a, like an engravement on the cooler, but also, for example, you could say you don't like the black one, you want to have, I don't know, green, mm -hmm. green anodized would also work, for example. Cool. So any customization is possible. And for the fittings, maybe like three months more to go. Okay, cool. Yeah, because still we're still working on the black powder coated ones. It's a little bit difficult, but yeah. we're getting there finally. Yeah. Very nice. So there is Der Bauer stuff, 99.9% .9 of Der Bauer stuff anyway. And I guess the CAD guy gets thrown under the bus as <laughs> doing nothing. 0.1% of work. Give, give Roman some, <laughs> some shit over that when he gets home. Uh, so if you want to check him out and his content, I think he's trying to be a real YouTuber this year and actually visit booths. Is that correct? Are you trying to like, actually yeah, cover stuff this you know, year? You know, last year when I was talking to you, you told me that you basically have no time and you're yeah. skipping all the events in the evening. Yeah, and, it, yeah, and, so, and often lunch or... Yeah, so this year I'm skipping everything and just nice. doing the videos. So. Awesome, yeah. so check out Roman's channel yeah. for more of that. Thank you for joining me. Thanks, man. We'll see you all next time.